Hey guys, today I thought I would share the boys' new backyard. So we have a deck now, which needs to be, the landlord's gonna pressure wash it and repaint um, soon. So we have a deck. We have a fence and yard that's pretty secure, but a lot more secure than the last house. We had to put some boards up over on this side because the fence uh, was missing a couple pieces. And my boys, all four, got loose about a week after we were here. And I about freaked out. So we got this secure now. So here we come down here. Like I said, they're going to repaint. Oh. And the boys, when they first had to encounter stairs, here's the piece that fell off the fence. Um, first encountered the stairs, they didn't know what to do. But anyways, I've got fencing up here because we're going to get some uh, grass seed and dirt to grow some grass here. So I don't want them in that muddy area. So I've got it fenced off. And there's clotheslines here. But there's so many trees able to use it or not. I really really have wanted a clothesline but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it because in the summer I bet there's going to be a lot of shade back here. We'll have to see. And then the last renters rigged up a fire pit. They didn't even dig it. Look at this. They didn't even dig a hole. They just put some bricks around. So we're going to take all of this out put dirt down and plant some grass. They really like the yard, and there's this huge tree here in the middle of the yard. The squirrels run up into, and, and one day I came out, and they were all standing there staring up uh, in the tree. I wish I could have took a picture. <laughs> it was so cold out, though, that day. I think they're going to like the little squirrely friends, aren't ya? Yeah, so they've been enjoying the yard. But yes, they all four got loose. They weren't loose long. They all stuck together. They were in the neighbor's front yard. I about had a heart attack. Oh, thank God they're microchipped and have name tags. But still, if they, what if all my boys would have been lost? I would have had to been put on medication. But anyways, Miggy, we brought Miggy's old basketball with us. <laughs> you still prefer this basketball to this one? Huh? You still prefer this one? You can get a hold of this one now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. See? You can get a hold of it now and carry it. I might throw this little ratty one away. But, like, but you love it, don't you? So, yep. It's our new backyard. We're still keeping an eye on it to make sure we don't miss any spots. Uh, we might be able to get here. Let me show you a view of the back of the house. View of the back. It's really nice when that deck is all cleaned off and freshly uh, painted. I don't know why they painted it. They should have just stained it. But so it'd be nice to have some uh, table and chairs out there and sit and watch the dogs, watch them play. Right, boys? You like this new backyard, huh? All right, guys. I'm gonna sign off now and play with the boys. Now all the dogs needed a drink of water. It's actually 60 some degrees here today. 
I'm surprised it's been so cold. I didn't think spring was ever going to come. But anyways, I went to Walmart today and I got Miggy a new harness because the Velcro is wearing out on his. So a lot of people ask me what harness I get and I get this one by Simply Dog. I get the size medium. All my dogs are around 18 to 20 pounds. Um, and I think it was $9.97, so $10. And they fit up underneath them like this. Let me go, let me go put one on the dogs. Hold on. Okay, here's Miggy modeling. Are you modeling? <laughs> here's Miggy modeling the harness. Yes. So it goes up underneath them and Velcro's right here up the top and then um, snaps together here and then you put your leash on. Now he probably thinks he's going on. I can't say W-A-L-K. I have to say stroll in place because he doesn't know what stroll means. But now he thinks he's going. But yeah, these work really good and they're real good uh, quality. Just... Um, this Velcro every now and then wears out and his wore out and he's had his for a long time, a couple years. So just had to re Woo! throwing it at you. I'm throwing it at you. So I had to replace his and I keep them in here. In this drawer, Oop, poop bags everywhere. This is my drawer. I've been keeping all the harnesses and leashes and all that in our uh, entertainment center here. Cause it's right by the front door. So my little thing I made broke um, during the move that I would hang all their harnesses in and their leashes on. So I just stick them in the drawer there. Yes. <coughs> and the boys are loving their new front door since they don't have their um, window to look out. I've been keeping the door open for them so they can Keep an eye on the neighborhood, right? You gonna keep an eye on the neighborhood, Max? Yeah? Since they don't have their window anymore to watch everyone going by and watching the day go by. Mozzie, what's going on with that beard? What's going on with that beard? You got a comb over? Do you have a comb over going on? <laughs> what's going on, Mozzie? <laughs> His beard is always the most silliest looking beard. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He likes to stick his whole face in the um, water dish so his whole face will get wet. And then he lays <laughs> and it dries silly. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You always look so silly. <laughs> oh, Mozzie, I love you. I love you, Moz. Anyway, so I just thought I'd share the backyard and the harness I use since a lot of people have asked. Also, a lot of people have asked this question too. Why did we move? Um, and why do we rent? So, our last house, our landlord was 90 years old. He is not doing well. Um, he, his uh, daughter said he's down to about 78 pounds. Um... So he's, he's not doing uh, well health-wise. And when he passes and the Lord takes him, um, he the kids are going to sell the house, which I think they're going to have my hus husband list. My husband's a, uh, a broker and owns his own real estate company. Um, so that's why a lot of people, too, wonder why we rent. Well, we lived in Tennessee for a short while. And when we moved back to Michigan from Tennessee, we decided to rent into this district, school district that my kids were going to previously before we moved to Tennessee um, to try to not, dis since we moved to Tennessee and we took them out of their school and then we were moving back, we wanted to put them back into the same district they were in when we moved back to Michigan. So. We've been renting since then. My son has, a, uh, he graduates next year. So we have about, so it's at about a year and a half, I think, um, before he graduates high school. And then we plan on moving to 
another town about half hour away um, to be closer to my husband's mom. Um, so we'll be buying then. So we just decided to continue to rent, uh, not have a house payment, and then have to deal with um, having to sell a home and all that mess um, after my son graduates. So there, there's the answers to those questions. Um, so I will sign off now and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.